Hello, my name is Mark Schippenmuller. I'm the product manager for the Alexa LF at ARI. And as part of this video series, I will be talking a little bit about the Alexa LF sensor. Now, there are two reasons why we developed the Alexa LF camera. First, there's a trend towards full-frame lenses and full-frame cameras. And second, the Alexa 65 was a huge success, which told us there's a demand for large format cameras. Now, the Alexa 65 is a rental-only product, and not everybody needs the really large sense of the Alexa 65, which is why we developed the Alexa LF, which is indeed a sales product. So let's look at the sensors, and we're starting with the Alexa 65 sensor. So this is the really, really large sensor, Alexa 65, three times as big as a regular Alexa Super 35 sensor. In comparison, this is the size of the Alexa LF sensor. This is 4448 by a 3096 photo sites. So yes, this is a 4K sensor, and it uses the same photo sites as the regular Super 35 Alexa. So the same size and the same type of photo sites. It also uses the same color science. Now, this sensor is 36.7 by 25.54 millimeters large, which means it's actually larger than full frame, which is why we're calling it not a full frame camera, but a large format camera. And that's how the name Alexa LF came about. So here's a picture of the Alexa LF sensor, and this sensor can be operated in one of three modes. Now, the good news is all three modes have been approved by Netflix, and Netflix has also approved recording every RAW or ProRes in three of the four flavors with this camera. But let's look at the three sensor modes. Here's the first sensor mode, LF Open Gate. That is the maximum image area and the maximum resolution you can get from this camera. It's 4448 by 3096 pixels, and you don't have any surround view because there's nothing around it anymore. You record everything the sensor sees. In order to cover the sensor area, you need a full frame lens, and the maximum speed is an amazing 90 frames a second on the sensor mode. Here comes the second sensor mode. This is LF 2.39 to 1. This is 4448 by 1856 pixels, and that's what you would use if you want to shoot widescreen with full frame spherical lenses. Now, this also doesn't have any surround view because we want to record the fewest number of photo sites in order to achieve the highest speed. This sensor mode runs up to 150 frames a second in order to do slow motion. And the third sensor mode is really the most interesting one. It's called LF 16 by 9. This is the smallest image area that still is considered 4K by Netflix. So it's 3840 by 2160 photo sites. That's 4K UHD. Um, it does have surround view. That's the dotted line indicates the surround view. And of course, full frame lenses cover this, but some Super 35 lenses can also cover the sensor mode, which makes it really, really interesting. Now, you may ask, how does that actually work? If you look at a lens, and if you look at the image a lens projects, most lenses project a circle. That's what this looks like. Now, inside of that circle is the so-called image circle. That is the area within which the lens manufacturer guarantees the image quality of the lens. But outside of the image circle, there is still light. This is the so-called illumination circle. We found that the illumination circle of the ultra primes, starting from 20 millimeters on and longer, cover the LF 16 by 9 sensor mode. Also, the master primes, starting from 35 millimeters and longer, cover the LF 16 by 9 sensor mode. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of other ARRI lenses that cover LF 16 by 9. So if you're doing a television series and you can't afford full frame lenses, even though of course you should be shooting with these signature primes, you could still use Super 35 lenses to shoot your television series with the Alexa LF camera. Now, how do you find out which lens covers which sensor mode? There's an online tool called the ARRI Lens Illumination Guide that you can find on our website, and that allows you to choose a camera, choose a lens, choose a T-stop, a focus setting, and then you actually see how much a given lens covers. And I spent a very enjoyable weekend with the Lens Illumination Guide, just playing around there, and I found that the ultra primes, starting from 20 millimeters on and longer, actually cover the LF 16 by 9 sensor area. Also, the master primes, starting from 35 millimeter and longer, cover the LF 16 by 9 sensor area. So here's a list of all the ARRI lenses that cover the LF 16 by 9 sensor mode. Of course, you should shoot your own tests, try other lenses, see what you find. Now, what if you want to shoot with a PL Super 35 lens on this camera, on the Alexa LF, and match a Super 35 Alexa? 
Well, there are two ways to go. If you're shooting with anamorphic Super 35 lenses, you can set the camera to LF 16 by 9 sensor mode, which is 3840 by 2160, and that is exactly the same height as the Super 35 6 by 5 sensor mode. That's the sensor mode you would use on a Super 35 Alexa for anamorphic lenses. So all you need to do then in post, crop off the edges of the image, and you have the same image that you would have if you shot with a Super 35 Alexa. Now, if you're shooting with spherical lenses, one of the ways you could go is use the LF 2.39 to 1 sensor mode. That has the advantage you can go up to 150 frames a second, and it is almost the same height as the Super 35 3.2K sensor mode. Now, LF 2.39 to 1 is 1856 photo sites high, and the 3.2K is 1800 photo sites high. So it's almost the same, and again, you chop off the sides, you have the same result. That is it. Here's a brief recap now. So the LF sensor is slightly larger than full frame. It can be operated in one of three sensor modes. You can use some Super 35 lenses for a 4K show in LF 16x9 sensor mode. To find out which lens covers which sensor mode, use the online lens illumination guide and all three sensor modes, as well as Arri-RAW and ProRes recording, are Netflix compatible. Thank you very much.